hello. What I'm going to do this this time is demonstrate the process you go through when you're making a terminal. I did make one of these a long time ago, but I accidentally uploaded the wrong one and then deleted it. And since then, I haven't. I thought oh, I don't want to do it. But no, I'm actually going to do it. So here we go. First thing you're going to want to do is edit a terminal that already exists, which means that it will have a name in game. So it will have a model in game. Sorry. Um, so I'm just going to open this one up. And I'm going to delete everything related to this terminal. And I'm going to give it a name like tutorial terminal. And then I'm just going to delete this so it just says terminal. So that's the name that will show up in game. That's the ID that has to be unique. So we're going to hit enter and yes, create a new form. And I'm just going to look for my terminal that I just made. So here it is. Now under this menu items, these will be the list of items that will appear when you access the terminal. We're going to hit new item and give it an item text which will be the name of the menu. So I'm going to write here read the note. And what I'm, I'm going to come out of this menu now and go up to notes. So I'm looking for item notes. There it is. So now you can do one of two things depending on whether you want the player to then be given the note after he's read it. You can either find one that already has a model and thus an icon or you can just create a new one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find one that already has an icon because I want the player to be given the note. So I'm going to give it a name which will appear in game of a note and a unique ID which will be tutorial note. And then we're going to make this a text note and we'll just delete the thing and write this is the note that you'll read. Oops. Oh, damn it. Okay. Then we'll hit OK. Yes, we'll just create a new form. I'm going to go back into terminals and find the terminal we made before, tutorial terminal. And we'll click back on read the note. And then we'll go to the display note and look for the note that I made, which is tutorial note. So I'm going to click that. And now in game you'll have a big green screen, read the note will appear, you'll click read the note, and then the note that I wrote before will appear on the screen. And I'm just going to click this add button here. And what that does is that will then automatically give the player the note. And you can write a little item script if you want to like set a quest stage or do something like that. And also you can add conditions to this. So let's say I wanted this to only appear once. I would make a condition like get has note tutorial note. And we're going to leave this on subject equals zero. Ah. And that may only appear once, so you can add conditions. You can also say you wanted to do um you can also say you wanted to do make a note. I think you wanted to unlock a safe or something. No, that's not a good example. Um I don't have an idea. But let's say you wanted to have info and you only wanted some little info to be or you wanted it to be broken or something so like you'd write in result text which is just a line that will appear at the bottom file not found and you can also if you had conditions that were then met like clicking info set a stage you can hit force redraw which means it'll recalculate all the results and reevaluate all conditions so if by clicking on this the conditions change it will i am not explaining this very well but essentially this will reevaluate all conditions and like delete anything from the menus that the conditions no longer meet I'll also demonstrate the welcome text this is what will appear at the top of the screen so welcome to the terminal and server 5 this is just like an aesthetic thing it doesn't matter which one of those you choose and obviously you can choose the hack level and that's the basic bit of terminals and now I'm going to demonstrate how to have sub menus in your terminal so let's say I wanted to do inbox like that we'll do it that inbox and just hit enter for now and then we're going to want to make a new terminal so we're going to go back to the complete list of terminals and say you have this one um, so I'm going to call it tutorial terminal 2 and it doesn't need a name because this won't show up in game I don't think but you give it a name if you want terminal and so now what we're going to do is create a whole list of items 
and these and well you can also add notes to these but because I've already shown that happened once I won't show it again so item 1 item 2 and you can imagine that there's notes there so yes we want to do that and we look for tutorial terminal the end of the tutorial terminal and we go to sub menu go back to inbox and find sub menu tutorial terminal 2 which is the one we made before so now when you click inbox you will be linked to tutorial terminal 2 which will have the inbox 1 and inbox 2 options and you then select those and make messages appear or make result text appear or do anything like that and that is just about everything for this tutorial hopefully that has been vaguely useful and I uh, wasn't too confusing because I may have tripped up on myself a few times and I'll also include at the end some shameless shameless self-promotion um, you can download my lucky dice mod which has received an update since the last video it's now much more cluttered and it kind of looks more like a place where people would go so I'll include a link to that in the description um, thank you for watching goodbye